Hi everyone, welcome to Ansible Learning Series for Network Engineers. This is the sixth video on new Ansible Learning Series. In this video, we will see how to read text file and send configuration to Cisco device using Ansible Playbook. In the previous video, we have seen how to send a config command. We have seen how to send IP domain name configuration. Then we have seen how to send parent command and the sub commands using parents and lines option. Then we have seen how to print the difference between running and startup and save the configuration if it is modified. Then after and before option. Then how to loop through multiple parent commands using with items with that. I'll be adding the previous video link in the description and notification. Now here I have a text file. This contains interface gigabit01 config which we'll try to send to Cisco device. For that, I'll create another playbook here. I'll call that until here the syntax is going to be same here the device is routers ssh pass here it is 62 which is having username password and enable password given and under that it is going to be ios config and here we will see the option under ios config we can see there is an option called src source so we can give source path to the file here since it is in same folder, I can just give the file name here. So I'll give source and the file name intconf.txt and we can do a difference. Now let us just try checking the syntax. Syntax hyphen check. Syntax looks good. So we'll try running the config. Hyphen hyphen diff we need to give to see the difference so here you can see i'm receiving invalid input detected and if you see my configuration file this is a configuration file now to get the message invalid input if you execute this command directly in config mode see so we are getting same message that means Ansible is trying to execute that directly in the configuration mode and if you see this documentation this argument is mutually exclusive with lines and parents so what we need to do here we need to make this as a parent command and this as the lines now let us try running this Yes, so here you can see now this has added the configuration so the previous config is 2.2 .2 in startup and currently it is 22.1 so you should be careful with this you should exactly give the parent command and sub commands in this format 
while sending configuration from a text file. And we'll try saving this config. For that, we'll give save when modified. It is same as our previous playbook. So now to verify the configuration, we will try getting the facts. try gathering iOS facts and gather subset will give all this I have explained in the first video so you can have a look into that video as well now to print this I'll give debug and under that message and to get the interface details we will go and have a look into the iOS facts here in the return values so you can see here Ansible net interfaces so all the interface details it will print so we will try giving this Now we'll verify the syntax again. So we'll try running the playbook. You can see a message here. So to ensure item potency, we need to give the complete command here. We are giving the full interface name. And here you should be able to see the new IP address what we configured for gigabit 01. In the next video, we'll see how to use iOS interfaces module in Ansible for configuring and getting the details of Cisco devices. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.